Once upon a time, in a village nestled between rolling hills, lived a kind and curious girl named Belle. Unlike the other children who played hide and seek in the fields, Belle spent her days lost in books, her head filled with fantastical stories. One stormy night, Belle's father, a poor woodcutter, got lost in the dark forest. Seeking shelter, he stumbled upon a magnificent castle, its windows glowing like golden eyes. Inside, he found a table laden with food, but a booming voice echoed, who dares enter my home without permission? Startled, Belle's father took a rose from the castle garden to apologize. But a fearsome beast, with fur like a storm cloud and eyes that flashed fire, emerged. He roared, a rose for a stolen rose. You shall stay here forever. Belle, learning what happened, raced to the castle, her heart filled with love for her father. Let him go, she pleaded, I'll stay here in his place. The beast, surprised by her bravery, agreed. Every day, Belle kept the beast company, sharing stories from her books and learning about his lonely life. Though the beast was scary at first, she saw a glimmer of kindness behind his gruff exterior. They'd have tea parties, with Belle pouring tea for a grumpy-looking beast who secretly loved her sweet treats. They'd explore the castle, Belle's laughter echoing through the dusty halls as the beast learned to smile again. One evening, using a magic mirror Belle found, she saw her father, weak and ill. The beast, seeing her worry, let her return home for a week, with a single, heartbreaking rule. Promise you'll come back. Belle spent a happy week with her father, but her heart ached for the beast who was no longer just a scary creature, but a friend. True to her word, she returned to the castle, even though it meant leaving her father behind. The beast, overcome with joy, accidentally pricked his finger on a rose thorn. Belle, remembering a story about a broken curse, cried out, You're not a monster. You're kind and brave. As she spoke, a warm light filled the room. The beast transformed. In his place stood a handsome prince, his eyes filled with gratitude. The curse, broken by Belle's love and kindness, had finally lifted. The prince, forever grateful, and Belle, happy to have a true friend, ruled the castle with kindness and fairness. They never forgot the importance of looking beyond appearances and finding the beauty within, just like Belle found the beauty within the beast.